We'll start with the two cups of mashed cooked sweet potatoes that I've prepared already. Then I add three eggs. Eggs I'll always crack into a separate bowl before adding to the rest of the ingredients because some of them might be rotten. You only have to make that mistake once to learn. Not bad, three good eggs. Mix the eggs and the sweet potatoes up real well. I want a nice smooth mixture, and this can take some time. So you may want to come back when I'm done with that. It's still a little lumpy, but I think it's good enough. Besides, I'll mix it in some more when I put in the rest of the ingredients. So now for the rest of the ingredients, these will be the spices and sweeteners. I like a lot of cinnamon. About a tablespoon. Cinnamon I can get in the cities in Malawi. Some nutmeg, maybe about half a teaspoon. Nutmeg I haven't seen in Malawi. I mailed this to myself. Some cloves. I've seen whole cloves in Malawi. I haven't seen ground cloves. Dash of salt. I like cardamom. I mailed this to myself from the States. You can get whole cardamom in Malawi, but I haven't seen the ground. Cardamom is very strong, um, but I like it. Since I happen to have some allspice, I'll use that too. The allspice I inherited from someone leaving Malawi, I have no idea where she got it from. Imitation vanilla flavor. About one teaspoon. And then because I got some from the States, a little bit of imitation maple flavor. A little bit, like maybe half a teaspoon. Strong stuff. And then the sugar. You don't need too much sugar because the sweet potatoes are already sweet. However, the African sweet potatoes aren't as sweet as the potatoes that we're used to in the States, and I have a sweet tooth. So, you shouldn't use less than half a cup of sugar. I would use a little bit more, maybe two-thirds of a cup, because, like I said, I have a sweet tooth. Now we want to mix this up as smoothly as we can. Actually, I just mixed that up to be a little bit uh, moist, because I forgot one ingredient. Milk. So I'm going to add that in parts, I'm going to add it as the dry milk and as water. So dry milk solids. I want about half a cup. And I don't have a half a cup in this bag, so pardon me while I go and get a little bit more. There, that didn't take long. There. Half a cup of dry milk solids. And one more spice that I really don't want to forget. This one's critical. This one's ground ginger. Can actually get ground ginger in the cities in country. Ginger is strong, but you still want a goodly amount of it because it's a very important spice. I use about a heaping teaspoonful. Now I'll stir this real well. Once it's smooth, I'll add the water to get the right consistency, and then the pie's ready.
ready to adjust the water. Now I add up to a cup of water, but mostly I'm just looking for the right consistency to pour. If I use too much water, there's no going back. That looks pretty good. Maybe it's a little lumpy. Fix the pie shell. The crust has slid down a little bit. Tends to do that with time and gravity. So pull the edges up so the pie crust can actually contain the filling. Here goes nothing. Looks like it's going to fit. Just barely. And we're good. Then this goes inside of a larger pot, which has sand on the bottom, and some brick chips. The sand is to even out the heat and absorb some of it. And the brick chips keep the bottom of this pot off the sand a little bit to protect against uh, the hot fire. That goes inside. Metal it on top, now it's ready for the fire.